Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. If you're new here, if you are returning, then it's so nice to see you again. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Um, today we're going to be doing a creative flowy vinyasa flow. It is dedicated to my best friend who lives across the world in Canada and I really wanted to make a class for her. And she's a dancer, so hopefully you will love this flowy class. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you like my flows. All right, we're going to get started. We're going to get started in child's pose. So we can just bring the knees wide apart and the big toes together. So we have a little bit of a hip opener here already. Then you can bring your hips back towards your heels and then the forehead down to the mat. Let's reach the fingertips towards the top of the mat and just find a gentle grounding position here in child's pose. You can close your eyes and just feel the connection between your body and the earth. Notice the rhythm of your breath today. Notice if it's really deep or really shallow, if you feel it more in your lungs or more in your stomach. And just scanning your body, looking for any areas that are holding on to tension, consciously trying to let them go, allowing your body to relax. And also noticing your mind if you're traveling to other places and your thoughts. And if you find your mind wandering gently without any judgment to guide your mind back to the present moment. And the breath is always a really nice anchor in the present since it is always in the present moment. So observing the breath, observing all the sensations that are created by the inhale, the pause at the top of the breath, and observing all the sensations that are created by the exhale. Finding equal lengths, inhales and exhales. Let's take a few more breaths here. You can start to reach even more through your fingertips, stretching out your spine in both directions as you pull your hips back towards your heels. And from here, we're going to slowly roll into a high cobra. So on an inhale, very slowly round your spine, lift your hips off your heels, maybe bring your knees a little closer together. And then let's drop the hips, peel the chest open, bend your elbows as much as you have to so you're not back bending too much. And then exhale, chin into chest, round back one vertebra at a time to child's pose. And again, inhale, coming all the way into a high cobra. Exhale, one vertebra at a time, round back, child's pose. And continue here at your own rhythm of breath. Inhaling to open up the heart, to drop the hips, peel the chest open. Exhaling to bring it back, child's pose. And two more, inhale. Open up the heart, gaze up. Exhale to round back. Last one, inhale to come forward. This time you can even bend your knees more, maybe lift your feet. Imagine you want to, to touch the back of your head with your feet and hold. And if you cramp like me, you can just come out and back in for three, two, and one. Release the feet, slowly release your chest down on the mat. Let's bring the fingertips off the mat to either side. Point your elbows up, using the strength of your back. On your inhale, lifting from the upper back, lift. Exhale to lower. Two more, inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. 
Last one, inhale. And exhale to lower. Let's tuck the toes, bring the hands underneath your shoulders, send your hips all the way back to your heels, and then press up, downward facing dog. So here you just want to lift your hips up as high as you can, try to strength, uh, str straighten the back of, backs of your legs, straighten your spine, find length, maybe pedal out the feet, just finding some movement here. Two more breaths. On your next inhale, let's lift the right leg up high. Exhale, bend your right knee, open up the hip, hold here. And then let's straighten the right leg in the open hip. Deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring your knee in towards your chest. And then step your right foot between your hands. So we're in a lunge. On an inhale, the right arm reaches up. Twist open to the right. And here, pull your right hip back. Keep reaching through the crown of the head. Two more breaths. And then on your exhale, we're going to circle the right arm back and straighten the right leg, pyramid pose. Three breaths here in this first one. Hollow the lower belly, lengthen your spine, pull the right hip back, left hip forward. And now moving between those two, inhale, bend the right knee, reach the right arm up. Exhale, pyramid pose, circle the right leg back. Inhale, bend the right knee, reach the right arm up, peel the chest open. Exhale, pyramid pose. One more, inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose. Let's look towards the top of the mat, chair pose. Bend the right knee, left foot meets the right. Inhale here, exhale, bring your hands to the heart space. Let's cat and cow with the upper body. So inhale, cactus the arms, open up the heart. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale to open. Exhale to round. One more, inhale. Exhale to round. And then imagine you're snaking your upper body towards standing. So starting to straighten the legs and then unrolling one vertebra at a time, the whole spine, until you come up into high mountain, reach the arms above the head. Exhale, hinge at the hips, and fold forward. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Let's extend the left leg back. And so it's directly back in like a warrior three, so not all the way up standing splits. The upper body is still parallel to the floor. And you can either keep your fingertips down on the mat or maybe reach your arms back, airplane wings. Good. Slow motion. Let's step the left foot way back. Coming into a warrior two, we're going to ground that left heel and windmill the arms open. And hold. Good. On your next inhale, let's straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the left knee, skandasana. So you can always keep your left heel lifted or it can be grounded on the mat. Alternatively, you can stay a little bit higher up if it's not possible to go down. Good. From here, we're going to sit down on the mat. Bring your left knee on the floor. So your left ankle is just beside your left hip. You can roll out your left calf, so we're in half hero's pose. Inhale to straighten the spine. Exhale to fold over your right leg. Try to keep your left sit bone grounded as much as you can here. Sometimes I even like to press into the floor with my right hand just to make sure I'm not falling to the right. Right. 
On your next inhale, slowly rise up. Let's lift that left knee. Come back to Skandasana. Inhale, star pose. Big push in that left leg. Reach the arms up. Exhale, prayer squat. I'm sorry, I'm turning my back to you. It's just so it makes more sense in my head. All right, we're going to cat and cow the arms again. So on an inhale, cactus the arms, press the tailbone out, open up the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Two more, inhale to open. Exhale to round. Last one. And inhale, come back to star pose. Exhale, prayer twisted lunge to the top of the mat. Bend your right knee. Twist to the right. And, and hold. And on your next inhale, you can open up the arms. And then we're going to lift the upper body, stay in the twist. Right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. And you can either stay here or take a little bit of a back bend. Right hand is at the back of the left leg. Left arm reaches up to the sky. And on your next exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Step your right foot back, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, knees, chest, and chin come down to the floor. One big breath in. Next inhale, untuck the toes, slide through baby cobra. And all the way back, downward facing dog. All right, all of that on the left side. <laughs> Let's hope I remember. Inhale, the left leg rises. Exhale, bend your left knee. Open up the hip and hold. So keep pressing your chest back towards your right foot. Keep trying to stack your left hip over the right. And then you can stay here or straighten your left leg in the open hip. And hold. On your next exhale, bend your left knee, bring your left knee into your chest, shift the weight forward, and then let's step the left foot between the hands. Left arm reaches up, twist to the left, and hold. Keep pulling your left hip back, right hip forward, and keep lengthening the spine. And next exhale, let's circle that left arm down and straighten the left leg. Pyramid pose, maybe step your right foot just a few centimeters towards the left and hold. And now moving between those two. So bend the left knee, inhale, left arm reaches up, peel the chest open, exhale, circle the left arm down, pyramid pose. Inhale to open, twist, exhale, circle down. Inhale, open, exhale, pyramid pose. Now the right foot meets the left, chair pose, top of the mat. Inhale here, exhale, bring your hands to the heart space. Inhale to open up the heart. Exhale to round the spine as much as you can, contract. Inhale to open, exhale to round. Inhale one more time, open. Exhale to round, roll up one vertebra at a time, high mountain, inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward, all the way down, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale. Now the right leg extends back and hold here. And you can either keep your fingertips down on the mat, maybe bring the hands to the heart space, maybe reach the arms back and up for airplane wings, airplane pose, and hold. And then from here, slow motion all the way into warrior two. So stepping that right foot 
as far back as you can, dropping the right heel and then windmilling the arms open. Warrior two, left knee is bent, right leg is straight. And from here, we're going to straighten the left leg, inhale, exhale, bend the right knee as much as you can. You can always stay on your toes. You can always keep your body a little bit higher up and hold. Hands can always come down on the floor. And one more breath here. On your exhale, slowly sit down. Let's drop the right knee. Coming into hero's pose, so you can point your right toes, bring your right heel very close to your right hip. I like to roll the calf muscles out because I have big calves. <laughs> Inhale here to lengthen your spine, flex the left toes. Exhale to fold forward. And don't hesitate to just use that left hand to support you a little bit. Because there's a lot of compression on the right side, the body will tend to lean over to the left and you don't want the right hip to lift off the mat, so just try to keep both of them grounded. Two more breaths. On your next inhale, slowly rise up. Look to the right, let's lift the right knee. Plant the right foot, with or without the help of the hands, lift the hips, Skandasana. Inhale, star pose, big push in that right leg. Exhale, prayer squat. And once again, cat and cow, elbows almost touch. Inhale to open up the heart, gaze up. Exhale to round, tuck the tailbone. Inhale to open. Exhale to round. One more. Exhale to round. Star pose, inhale, straighten the legs. Prayer twisted lunge, the top of the mat, turn to face the top of your mat, bend your left knee, and then twist to the left and hold. Good. On your next inhale, open up the arms, left arm reaches up, right arm reaches down. And then let's lift the upper body, come into a vertical twist. You can either stay here or find a back bend, left hand on the back of the right thigh, right arm reaches up to the sky. And on your next exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Step back, high plank, and then knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale all the way back to downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna repeat all of that. One breath, one movement with nothing different. We're just going to add maybe a few repetitions of certain poses, but don't worry, I will explain everything along the way. All right, so let's go at your own pace. I'm just gonna guide you with my breath rhythm, but if you're a little faster or slower, that's totally fine. Inhale, the right leg rises. Exhale, bend the right knee, open up the hip. Inhale, let's straighten that right leg. Exhale, bend your right knee, bring your right knee into your chest. Step the right foot between your hands. Inhale, peel the chest open to the right, open twist. Exhale, pyramid pose for three. Inhale, bend the right knee, open twist. Exhale, pyramid pose for two. One more, inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose. Step to the top of your mat, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, hands come to the heart space. Inhale, open up the heart. Exhale, round the spine. Two more, inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale to open. Exhale to round. Roll up high mountain, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your left foot extends back. 
Inhale, maybe lift those arms off the floor. Exhale, slow motion, step it back. Inhale and exhale, warrior two. Let's reach through those right fingertips, inhale. Exhale, skandasana, straighten your right leg, bend the left knee. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to drop the right hip, left toes turn in. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to rise up. Lift your left knee. Press into the left foot. Lift the hips. Star pose. Inhale. Exhale. Prayer squat. Let's go down three times. Inhale back into star. Exhale. Prayer squat. Inhale. Star. Exhale. Squat. Cat and cow. Inhale. Open up the heart. Exhale, round for three. Inhale, open. Exhale, round for two. One more. Exhale, two round. Star pose, inhale. Prayer twisted lunge to the right. Bend your right knee, twist. Inhale to open up the arms. Exhale here. Inhale, straight into the back bend. Right hand finds the back of the left leg. Exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down to the mat. Step back, high plank, your variation of vinyasa, whatever you decide. Inhale through cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more breaths here, and then we're going to do that on the left side. All right, on your next inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, bend the left knee, open up the hip. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Exhale, re-bend the left knee, bring your left knee into your chest, and then step the left foot between your hands. Left arm reaches up to the sky, open twist, inhale. Exhale, pyramid for three. Inhale, open twist to the left. Exhale, circle the left arm down, pyramid for two. Inhale, open twist. Exhale, pyramid, last one. Chair pose, step up to the top of your mat. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Open up the heart for three. Exhale, round. For two, engage that core. Exhale, round. Last one. Exhale, round. Roll up, high mountain, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Right leg extends back. Next inhale, reach your arms back and up, airplane wings. Whoop. Exhale, slow motion, step it back, warrior two. Inhale, let's reach through the left fingertips. Exhale, send it back, straighten your left leg, bend the right knee, skandasana. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to sit the hips down. Bring your right knee just beside the left and right foot close to the right hip. Inhale, lengthen the spine again. Exhale to fold as deep as you can. Inhale, rise up, lift the right knee, push in the right foot, lift the hips, a lot going on. Inhale all the way up, star pose. Now maybe let's try to lift the heels. Exhale, prayer squat on the toes for three. Inhale, lift for two and one. Hold, maybe stay on the toes, cat and cow. Inhale to open up the heart. Exhale, round for two more. Last one, very wobbly on the toes. Okay, let's drop the heels, inhale, star pose, straighten the legs. Prayer twisted lunge to the left. Inhale to open up the arms, exhale here. And then inhale, come into the back bend. Exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down to the mat. Step the left foot back, high plank. Knees, chest, chin, or any other variation to come all the way back to downward facing dog. I 
Okay, let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Two more breaths here, just to reconnect to your breath, maybe to close your eyes, check in with how you're feeling. On your next inhale, let's lift the right leg up high. Exhale, bend the right knee, open up the hip, maybe flip your dog so the right foot comes behind the left leg, and then open up the heart, right arm reaches over your right ear. And on your next exhale, turn around, right hand comes back down on the mat, three-legged dog, send your right leg back. Exhale, right foot steps between your hands. Inhale, the right arm reaches up, twist open. Exhale, pyramid pose. Right and hold. And now maybe look forward, maybe slide into full splits if you feel like it. If you feel ready. And of course you can bring blocks underneath your right hip. Keep your hands to support you so you're not overstretching the right hamstring. And let's hold. And we're going to push into the hands, lift back up. You might need some help, <laughs> little steps. Come all the way back into pyramid pose. From here, we're going to walk the hands all the way over to the left. Turn your right toes in for prasarita. So both feet are wide apart, toes are slightly turned in. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. And you can maybe just dangle here or grab a bind, hands behind your ankles or whatnot, or peace fingers around the big toes. Maybe you want to walk your hands through your legs, whatever feels good to you. On your next inhale, halfway lift. Let's pivot 180 degrees. So you're on the outer blades of both feet and we're facing the long side of the mat. The right leg is crossed in front of the left. Let's bring the weight into the hands and then bend the knees so you can sit down on your mat in between your heels. Shoelace pose. All right, this might be very intense for some. This might be very easy, so just... Don't feel bad if your knees are not touching at all. All right, let's stay here. Reach the arms above the head. Let's cross the left elbow over the right elbow for eagle arms. And then we're going to lift the elbows away from the face and up. And hold. Try to make your spine nice and long. Hollow the lower belly. And you can either stay up here, or you can bring your elbows down either to your knee, maybe the floor, if your sit bones can stay on the mat, or you can release the bind and just fold over the legs without the bind of the arms, which is what I'm going to do today. So just making sure that your sit bones are not lifting off the floor. Wherever you are, you can relax your head. Let's take two more breaths here. And then slowly rise back up. 
Let's turn to face the top of the mat. There's only one possible direction to turn and it's towards the top. Bring your left knee underneath your left hip. Plant the hands. Step directly back to downward facing dog or through a vinyasa. Alternatively, you can come into your downward facing dog and then ripple forward into a high plank and maybe just send it back down dog. So whatever you want in those transition moments. The left side, inhale, the left leg rises. Exhale, bend your left knee, open up the hip. So try to stack your left knee over the right, over the left hip. And then maybe gently drop that left foot behind the right leg, lifting your left arm off the mat, opening up the heart. On your next exhale, let's pivot the left hand down, come back into three-legged dog. And then the left foot steps between the hands. Left arm reaches up, inhale, exhale, pyramid pose. Now you can stay here the whole time. This is a very nice hamstring stretch and it can be really deep. Or if you want to go further, you can slide into full splits, Hanumanasana. Only if you feel like you're ready for that today and your body wants to go there. Don't force anything. I'm just gonna go halfway. <laughs> just being very, very gentle. Every day is gonna be so different, especially when it comes to flexibility and balance. Those are two things that can change very quickly. <laughs> so just be patient with yourself, with your body. And if you're in full split, slowly make your way back to pyramid pose. Right, and then we're going to walk the hands to the right. Both toes point towards the long side of the mat. Toes are slightly turned in. Let's take a deep breath in, halfway lift, and then exhale to fold. Five breaths. On your next inhale, halfway lift. Let's turn 180 degrees to the other side without moving the feet. You're just rotating the feet. So both toes point towards the long side of the mat again. We're on the outer blades of the feet. Let's bend the knees slowly, sit down in between your heels. Make sure you're still on the outer blades of the feet. Let's reach the arms up, right Elbow crosses over the left, eagle arms, and hold here. And on your next exhale, either keep your elbow crossed in eagle arms and fold forward, or if you're very restricted, you can always undo the bind and fold without that bind always keeping the sit bones grounded on the mat. Let's take two more breaths here. And then slowly you can walk your way back up, release the bind of the arms if you still have it. We're pivoting towards the right. Use your hands to lift the hips, bring your right knee underneath the right hip, and then you can plant your hands and go directly back to downward facing dog or take a vinyasa, whatever you decide. 
All right, from here, we're going to step, walk, or jump all the way down to a seat. So dropping the knees, crossing the shins, and then coming onto a seat. Let's separate the legs wide. And, and then we're going to bring the right hand behind the right hip, point the toes. You can swing your left leg, press into the right hand, and lift your left arm over your left ear. It helps to ground the left foot completely. Inhale here, exhale, slowly come back down. Switch sides, the left hand comes behind the left hip. Swing the right arm, turn your right toes in, open up the heart. Exhale, come back. Two more on each side, inhale to the right. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to the left. Exhale, lower down. One more on each side. Inhale. And left. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. Keep the legs far apart. Deep breath in to lengthen your spine. Engage the muscles in your thighs. And then exhale to fold forward as deep as you can go. So without any pain, of course, Muscle pain is good, but if you feel any sharp pains in the backs of your knees or in the inner thighs, like something is going to rip, take a few steps back. Go a little less deep. Let's take two more breaths here. And then slowly you can help your way, help yourself up with your hands. Bring your knees together again with the help of your hands. And then we're going to turn and, well, you don't have to turn, I have to turn. We're going to come all the way down to the mat, one vertebra at a time. Once you're here, just bring your knees together, feet a little bit closer to your hips, maybe knock your knees side to side, windscreen wiper motion. And then we're going to bring the knees into the chest and you can use the help of your hands if you want to lift your feet into shoulder stand. So lift the hips. Bring your hands to your lower back and lift the legs up. Make sure you're not looking side to side here. We're just looking at the belly, maybe between the legs. And you can just keep a straight line. Or maybe you want to play around with movement. Maybe imagining you're walking upside down. Maybe you want to open the legs, kind of pivot the hips. You decide whatever you want to do, whatever feels nice. From here, bend your knees, release your hands, make sure you're using your core strength. Slowly one vertebra at a time. Let's come all the way back down to the mat. Keep your knees into your chest. You can re-bend the knees, hug them in, maybe rock side to side. And then let's just bring both knees over to the right. Left arm extends out to the left. Maybe close your eyes. Try to keep both shoulders grounded. And just breathe into your lower belly. Let's come back through center once again. And this time, both knees fall over to the left. Extend your right arm to the right. Keep the eyes closed. Relax. Uh, 
On your next inhale, let's come back through center. Let's give ourselves a big self-loving hug. Bring the forehead up to your knees. Give yourself the tightest hug you've ever given anyone. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath and squeeze, 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 squeeze harder. And then exhale, release, let it all go into your Shavasana. Just lying down on your back, arms are extended out to the sides, alongside the body, palms face up. Relax your legs, relax all the muscles in your body and your face, the fingertips, everything. Let's take a deep, full breath in. And then exhale through the mouth. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release. And allow yourself to rest here to completely relax. You deserved it. And you should never feel guilty about resting. We need it just as much as we need everything else. So allowing yourself the time to regenerate, to heal. Giving yourself space, time, love, and care. The same type of love that you would give your best friend. You deserve that too. Please continue to lie here for as long as you have the time for today. The longer, the better. I hope that you enjoyed the flow. Shout out to my best friend, Isabel. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please, please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Um, and I hope to see you next week again for another class. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.